I'm Glenn Van Dyken, and I am a farmer from the north of West Auckland. I have been farming for all my adult life, uh, for a little over 30 years, and uh, with my wife Barb and I, we have uh, raised five children, and have four grandchildren, and they are the reason I am running for public office. Because I, I believe that sound public policy plays a very significant role in whether or not my children and grandchildren are able to enjoy the same opportunities that I have been able to enjoy. Regrettably, successive PC governments have eroded our Alberta advantage. Our Alberta advantage was never necessarily about geography. It wasn't about oil. The Alberta advantage has always been about fiscally responsible government. Jim Prentice has called an early election as a referendum on his 10-year budget plan. His 10-year plan is 10 years late. Now the New Guinea Democrats are saying tax business. The progressives are saying tax individuals. But the Wild Rose is saying top, stop the tax grab, address the mismanagement, and cut the wasteful spending. This budget is tough on the taxpayer, but easy on PC waste. Here are some of the facts. The PC budget outlines that they will raise $2.7 million out of the economy. $2.7 million of, new, of tax raises and new fees. That calculates out to $600 per capita close to $2,500 per family. The PC budget increases government spending by $3.5 billion over the next five years. Under the PC budget, Alberta will have a staggering $31 million debt by 2019. The PC plan to tax and spend Alberta back to prosperity will not work. The Wild Rose Plan will balance the budget by 2017 without raising taxes on families and will protect frontline services. Our plan will break the PC cycle of deficit and debt and return us to growth and prosperity, creating real jobs for the future. The Wild Rose 1010 Municipal Funding Initiative will deliver sustainable and predictable funding for municipalities. This will allow municipalities to plan and build for the future with confidence. Wild Rose will deliver patient-centered health care model, as opposed to the centralized top-down PC model. Wild Rose is the only party with a plan to end sole source contracting and improve conflict of interest legislation to ensure that contracts are awarded appropriately and not as a result of political ties. Alberta has a spending problem that needs to be fixed first. The PCs have squandered a decade of high energy prices without the proper structures in place to control spending. The PCs have created this fiscal mess. Alberta now spends $2,000 more per capita than our neighbors to the, to the West BC. That is over $8 billion. That more than covers off the revenue shortfall. The PC's past fiscal choices have now severely impacted our future. The PC plan of higher taxes, higher spending, and less services will not fix our problems. The Wild Growth Plan means no tax increases, smaller government, economic growth, and services focused on results. Alberta deserves a better government. We cannot afford to be fooled by destructive tax and spend government policy. It is time to push back, demand an end to wasteful spending, demand an end to mismanagement, and stop the tax grab. Thank you. So it's fitting that the, the first question was all about leadership. And my closing remarks are about leadership. 
Strong leadership is needed so that the people of Alberta will continue to have hope for the future, the freedom to achieve their dreams, and the security in knowing that their rights will be protected. More taxes are not a solution at this time of uncertainty. Alberta cannot afford to sit back and hope the PCs will fix things. They have proven that the aura of power runs so deep that they will not even address the mismanagement and entitlement issues. The choice before Albertans in this election is an important one. They can choose mounting debt, higher taxes, and more government waste. Or they can choose a responsible approach founded on low taxes and lean government that will restore the Alberta advantage that will bring investment, jobs, and hope for the future. Which direction do you want to go? You have a decision to make. On May 5th, I encourage you to vote for Glenn Van Dyken. Thank you.